Okay, hi guys. So today I'm going to show you all um, how to make um, pigtail okra rice. And what I did here is that I um, already boiled the, the pigtail um, just in regular water. I rinse out the pigtail and then I um, boil it in the water for like about an hour or two till it's really soft and tender, right? Now, I don't eat pig, but my husband does, so I have to honor his wish of getting some okra pigtail rice. So, these are the ingredients here. Um, I have okra, pumpkin, onion, you know, peppers, and seasonings to go into the pot, right? So, as I go along, I'll show you, because I have to quickly go to um, chili with a nail. So, I have some oil. Just going to put like about a half cup of oil in there, not too much. Not even a whole half cup, actually. Just a few tablespoons. Um, I had the stove on low. So I'm going to raise it back up. I'm going to cook this quickly. So I'm going to put in the... I have here ginger, garlic, pimento. Um, just in a mix here. The ginger was some ginger used for, um, for ginger beer. I pretty sure I'll probably put that video up already I'm not sure yet um, but that's for ginger beer and I saved the ginger and I'm just reusing it here in my pot because I waste nothing okay so while that's popping there let me start to give it a stir all right And you don't have to use so much of ginger if you're not a ginger person. It's not really um, typical for the recipe, but um, this is the only way I can incorporate like some kind of spicy into the food because I can't put actual pepper. And then it's much healthier this way. Okay. So now I'm going to put the onions. This is just about a cup of onions. pumpkins so I'm literally just dumping everybody um, in there all right have the okra the okra is frozen okra that we had from our garden and because I knew it will come a time when um, we have no more okra in the garden. I just took the initiative and froze it. And that's just about a cup of everything. It's a cup of onion, a cup of um, pumpkin, and a cup of okra. All right. Just give this a nice stir. All right. seem like my, my ginger breaking down. I remove it. So I just removed the ginger because it wasn't breaking down. Um, I don't want it to remain in big pieces like that in the pot. Excuse my voice. It's cold and uh, I kind of getting like thorns so like this. Alright. So I'm just going to sweat the veg for a few minutes. So you can see the um, onions and so forth again, translucent. Everything is melting up really nicely. What I'm gonna do at this stage is add in my pigtail, dump that in. Give it a good stir. I don't wanna stir it up too much because the pigtail really cooked already but you just want the flavor to really marry into the pot and you want this bone um from the pigtail to kind of sweat into the meat the, the vegetables so you get that nice 
pork in flavor. I don't know. I don't eat pork, but uh, you know, just to render the fat and everything into here. All right. So now I'm gonna add my rice. I'm just gonna dump my rice into here. I washed the rice, and this is fresh water I had put with the rice to be able to cook because I don't have a pipe out here. So this is fresh water with the rice. And see guys, see it's already coming along. All right, and this isn't gonna take long. So you're just gonna have this in the pot here as long as you would cook uh, rice really because the rice is what you really want to cook through here um and the pumpkins while well, the pumpkins will melt if you wish this is fresh pumpkin but usually i cut and freeze our pumpkin also and it makes everything even faster because you know it has all that water in there already and to top this up i'm just gonna add some coconut milk so i can get the rice to really cook with everything and all the flavors and then i'm gonna add salt and um crackle black pepper and that'll be it just let it steam down cover it with a, a a fig leaf i don't have fig leaf you can cover it with a regular cover cover it with foil you know people have a lot of different ways that they steam the rice through to get the flavors out i'm just going to use a regular cover all right and i'm just gonna let this cook down as i say everything else is really cooked um pour uh, partially so you're just really cooking this until the water dries out and the um, rice is really um soft to, to the touch okay 